Hey guys, TechieKHC here again with another video, and today I wanted to do a what's in my bag. Now this is the kind of video that I've been requested a couple times, uh, and so I decided to make one of these. I'm actually going to have another video coming up for a what is in my travel bag or what's in my everyday bag, and I also wanted to do um, a video about my everyday carry because um, I made one a couple of months ago and that's something that people found really interesting, um, and my everyday carry has actually changed substantially from then, uh, and so I, I think that those things are a little bit different because the things that I keep in my bag are not things that I have on me all the time or on my person um, and so I really wanted to differentiate these two things a little bit but without any further ado for today let's get into what's in my backpack. The backpack that I found myself using most often recently is uh, the Air Fit Pack 2 um, and I also really want to thank Air for sending this out to me uh, to take a look at. Of course they haven't paid me for any of this, this is my honest sort of review uh, of the backpack pack but also how it serves my needs. Uh, just to be upfront, I also actually did recently purchase an in-case icon backpack which I use for a kind of a different use case but for today's video we're going to be focusing on the Air Fit Pack 2 along with everything I have in it. So first and foremost the thing that I have in my bag pretty much all the time uh, regardless of use case is my laptop because I, I definitely need my computer anywhere I'm going at 99% of the time nothing else will get the job done and so I have my uh, late 2018 15 inch MacBook Pro uh, with Touch Bar. I have been pretty vocal about my dislike for the Touch Bar. It's been growing on me, but it's still not my favorite thing in the world. Uh, I do have this computer in Space Gray. It has 16 gigabytes of RAM, a 512 gigabyte solid state drive, which is really, really fast, uh, and a Core i7 processor. And this computer has been great. I love the display. It's been a huge upgrade from my uh, 2013 13-inch Retina MacBook Pro. Um, it's thinner. It is a lot more powerful. It's Space Gray. I have a couple of stickers on it just for my personalization sort of thing, but um, I love this computer. It's a beast. I have luckily not had any problems with uh, sticky keys that some people have. Uh, even though this computer does have that membrane that Apple put in under the keyboard, some people are still having issues. Uh, I've been fortunate to not have any problems with this thing so far. So this fits into this back little slot of the backpack, which is pretty cool. Uh, one gripe that I have and sort of uh, wish that I had for this is that it was uh, maybe a little bit more padded with a softer microfiber line or fur or faux fur of course uh, or something of the sort. Uh, this is something that my in-case icon does really well. It has a whole separate area for the laptop um, but I think that this backpack is more um, you know it's something that it could use but I kind of understand why it isn't there. Uh, the other thing that I have in my backpack a lot of the time especially for this journey to and from Boston uh, is my iPad. Now this is an iPad Air 2. I have a red Apple smart cover on it and this kind of just slots in uh, to the backpack pretty easily as well. Alongside this I have one of these these Muji notebooks that I keep with me all the time and I also have this water bottle from ASOS. Now I have this um, little Gucci sticker that I cut out on a vinyl cutter on it. Of course this is not actually from Gucci, it's an ASOS water bottle, I just thought that it would look kind of cool. Now one of the other things that I like about this backpack is that it has a pretty reasonable number of pockets. It doesn't go overboard the way that some backpacks do and that kind of just annoys me. Uh, but I have enough pockets here where I can slip in my uh, charger from my MacBook Pro and a couple of cables that I'm going to need. Uh, so I slip my charger, my USB-C cable to charge my MacBook. Um, and also I have a lightning to USB-C cable uh, because when my MacBook is not charging uh, and I don't have to use it I actually use the charger to charge my iPhone which supports fast charge using this brick uh, it will work with the iPad brick but it works just fine with the MacBook brick and it actually is a little bit faster which is nice now besides for that I maybe just have like a pen or two and that's kind of it for some of these larger things one of the things that I love about the AirFit pack uh, is that it opens up from the front so it actually has this nifty um, little zipper on the front that allows me to open it and like slip things in and out um, on the fly so especially like when I'm on the train on the red line and there's no place to sit and there isn't like a thing for me to put my backpack on I can swing it over my shoulder um, zip this open and quickly put in my windbreaker in and out um, as and when I need it so if it's really windy when I'm getting off the train I can really quickly just pull it out put it on and I'm good to go or if I'm carrying a bunch of things in my hands and I don't really want to have everything on me I quickly zip this open shove something in there zip it back up and it keeps it separated from the laptop so I don't have to be worried about uh, anything, uh, a zipper or anything like that scratching it. So that is actually really, really useful to me and I absolutely love that as a feature of this bag. The other thing that I actually really like is this pocket at the bottom, which is super, super cool. So it is designed for putting uh, either dirty laundry or shoes or something of that sort in. Uh, but one of the things that I've noticed is that this is absolutely the perfect size
chance for me to slip my camera in. Now, having my camera inside of the main compartment of the bag is something that I never like to do because it kind of just wobbles around. There's other things in there. I don't like having like my water bottle and my camera um, right next to each other, just generally. Uh, and so this has actually been the perfect size for me to slip my camera into. I'm not really worried about my camera body when it's in here because I'm not the kind of person who slams my backpack against things, um, but it actually fits in here perfectly. I can carry an extra lens too. Now my lens isn't that massive. The one that I use on my camera is pretty big, but it fits in with the body perfectly. And then sometimes I also just take my little 16 to 50 little kit lens with me and that also just slips in there perfectly. Uh, and if I want, I normally just put in an extra pair of socks there from time to time. Uh, and this is just because I like to have fresh socks on me. It's kind of a weird thing, but that is kind of how I roll. One thing I'm forgetting about, and this is a, a must, is my Bose QC35 twos. I keep these with the hard shell case. Um, I, I don't worry that they're gonna break. I just like having the hard shell case on me for storage. Sometimes I wanna have that out uh, and I'll put the backpack in the overhead storage on the train. And so I like having these headphones with me all the time. The sound quality is great. The noise isolation is amazing. They have some of the best comfort. They're really light. Uh, and these are definitely my all around favorite headphones. These are the headphones that I use for pretty much everything now. Uh, they always maintain a good Bluetooth signal. I've never lost connection. Uh, they sound great. Battery life is excellent. I just don't have um, anything better I could say about them. They are the perfect pair of headphones. Uh, and these absolutely live in my backpack pretty much all the time because I don't want to forget them. Now, last but not least, I actually keep a little microfiber cloth in my bag and I will throw this in just about anywhere. Uh, it can fit. Normally it'll go in that front pouch because I like having it there, but for the purpose of this video and just to have it a little bit nicely displayed, uh, and it, this has this little like netting area on the inside where I'll throw that in there because I always like to have that just to clean my iPad, my MacBook screen uh, with fingerprints and then from time to time my glasses will get smudged or something too and I really always just want to have something like that in there. Now the one that I have here is just some no-name brand that is from the inside of the case that my glasses came in so it's nothing fancy but it's always nice to have. But that is actually pretty much it for what is in my backpack. This is the kind of stuff that I carry with me pretty much every day. Um, it is a little bit non-traditional, but I think that this is what gets things done for me. I have a pretty good time on my trips these days. The backpack is really comfortable and light. It's made of this high quality Cordura uh, material, which makes it really uh, resistant to things like cuts and things like that. I'm not really worried that, you know, running by somebody, I'm gonna cut the backpack or anything. And with my old Herschel backpack, I actually did have some of those concerns. And that was my second Herschel backpack is the first one um, I was in a studio working with an exacto knife and uh, dropped the knife and it actually ended up cutting my backpack open which was uh, glad I didn't cut my foot open but pretty sad waste of the backpack now I haven't tried the exacto knife test on this bag and I'm probably not going to do that but it does feel a lot more durable and well made than my old Herschel did um, and I really really have enjoyed using it so far so that's about it for what's in my backpack guys I really hope you guys enjoyed this video again I wanted to thank air for sending this backpack out to me to make a video um, I really, really appreciate them sending it to me, but also it has just generally been a backpack I've been thinking of buying, um, and I really have enjoyed my time with it. So that's about it for this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, remember to leave a like rating, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.